Sonic, you sure this is the right way? I saw Shadow and Eggman head this way. This has got to be the right way. But it's so spooky here. Maybe that's the ghost of Shadow we saw earlier. Woo! Stop it, Knuckles! Oh, Hang Castle. This level is very interesting because it uh, features two different versions of itself. Um, the normal version, and when we touch one of these orbs, we will revert to the upside down version of the castle. And indeed, all the enemies will be upside down. The annoying thing here is, uh, firstly, these um, flying uh, robots, which um, have searchlights. And you know what happens with searchlights? Yep, um, it will mean it will uh, alert all the uh, robots to your um, thing. And yes, there are puzzles we will need to solve. Nothing too hard in this level. But in the next level, Mystic Mansion, oh boy. Is it much different? It's quite a long stage as well. Um, especially with Team Dark and Team Chaotix. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so, um, Handcastle isn't too bad, actually. Uh, so, indeed, going through each of these orbs will take us back to the Upside Down Castle and vice versa in each area. So, yeah. And um, the other thing about the flying robots, the... Um, the annoyingly, um, I made of metal. Oh, heavy metal? No, not that of, of heavy metal. Um, but they can actually, uh, they can not be destroyed even with a level 3 Tails. They can take a lot more damage from a level 3 Tails, I'll give them that, but, uh, Another thing of note, you saw there a rather reddish robot. That is an, I believe, an Egg Bishop. And Egg Bishops, as um, characters, can heal other robots. So they're basically the white mages. Seriously. And that isn't all we will see of them. We'll also see a similar enemy to the Egg Bishops a little later. But for now, we're going down here and indeed warping back. Because, yeah, there's a lot of that. Uh, I want to go into power formation here just to get the rings. Although, Knuckles will be needed against this Golden Egg Pawn. And yeah, I think I want to get rid of the Egg Bishop first. Again, with a level 1 Knuckles with a Sheet Rock, yeah, he can easily get rid of that. Seriously. And yes, I, apparently it, what Knuckles says is Shift Rock, yeah. I can't even tell because the voice compression on uh, Scott Drea's voice here just makes it sound like he's... Um, saying the uh, word shit, basically. So, um, yeah. Again, blame uh, voice compression in the 2000s. That's all I'm gonna say. Even on consoles which did a little better for that, like the uh, GameCube. Anyway, that being said, uh, whoosh! And then, uh, should I put Sonic in the lead? Yeah, he is already level 3, so that makes sense. And, yeah, I think I will only devote this episode to Hang Castle because of how bloody long, even with Team Sonic, um, the only team it isn't long with is Team Rose, really, to be honest. And, but it's a little shorter than with Team Dark and especially Team Chaotic. I'll get to them when I get to the uh, thing. So, yeah, uh, some more Egg Pawns. So, I don't want to be knocked off, so let's use a Team Blast here. Seriously. There's also a segment in this inverted castle, castle area where we will um, um, have to use tails. Um, I don't know if um, it will give him the boosted to his flight meter like it did in um, I think it was either Grand Metropolis or Power Plant, um, but either of those levels. Um, so yeah, if there's anything really off about Blundershoot, it can be a bit unwieldy when you're not dealing with enemies. With enemies, it's usually dead on. With other items like those targets, it can be a bit iffy. Okay, yeah, there is a boost to its flight meter, but it's only at the very end of that. And those pumpkin heads, oh boy. They are the equivalent of the boost from, um, um, dare I say, the likes of Aquatic Mine. Um... And, of course, the Pyramid levels from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, that's what they remind me of, seriously. Anyway, let's walk back. 
And now we get to this segment where we will have to navigate a sort of fire maze. If we uh, go off from the torches, then um, Sonic and, and Co will fall off. So yeah, and um, the main reason I'm using Tails is that Thunder Shoot is easy to see off the pumpkin heads. Seriously. They don't grab you like the uh, booze did in um, Sonic Adventure 2, but they still do um, 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 lose your rings here. And here I cannot ri even grab the thing with Tails, seriously. And like having to hold down the A button just to uh, make him fly upwards and then having to hold the B button. And somehow the, the game registers that as me using Thundershoot. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, over here is um, another egg. Um, Bishop there. Thankfully, with a level 3 Knuckles, he's easily, um, I guess, done in. So, yeah. And I want to use Thundershoot on the thing because level 2 Tails is quite, uh, still quite destructive. So, now let's get Tails up to level 3 so we can... Oh dear. Yeah. Even with a level 3 Tails, we can't get rid of the metal robots. And in regular um, Hand Castle, um, they are less of a problem than the inverted version. Oh boy. It is weird hearing. And this is also the last Sonic game I'm, uh, in addition to um, um, the last one with the Avenger voice cast. This is the also the last uh, Sonic game where Tails is voiced by a boy. I mean, yeah, he, he Tails in many English dubs has been voiced by boys up until, I think, 2004 when they released Sonic Adventure 3. Um, and then they just went with women who could sound... Well, your mileage may vary with Amy Palance, I guess. But I'm, I'm not going to say anything against uh, Colleen O'Shaughnessy um, before her... Um, um, Kate Higgins, who actually can make Tails sound like pretty much a boy. So, yeah. And we're back to normal now, says so Nook. No oh, no, it was Tails. It was Tails who said that. But, yeah. Out of all the boys who's, who have voiced um, Tails, I am not the biggest fan of William Corkery again. And this is the best dub they did get with the Sonic Adventure cast, because... Um, as I mentioned in the Sonic 2 let uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, Lani Minella basically said um, that um, the re recording for Sonic Adventure 2 was done in a week. So yeah, or less than no, 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 I don't remember now. But certainly in the space of a week when, yeah, when I can tell the most of the voices are much better here, certainly. Seriously. And now getting to this target with Tails. I cannot aim again with, with the thunder shoot. Sometimes I have to veer a little off to the right there before I can do it. No such problem with blue tornado, but thunder shoot! Yep! And, um. All I can say is, um, yeah. Still glitchy in the GameCube version, just less glitchy than the PS2 version. Also a little faster, but that may be down to some other game. Some other game. I mean, Sonic Adventure 2 isn't the only game that's slow on PS2. Let me tell you. Um, it runs at 30 frames per second as opposed to 60 frames per second. I don't think. Which is weird. Sonic Riders also um, actually does run at 60 frames per second, but then I believe it was overseen by a different developer than Sonic Team. Although Sonic Team probably helped out. So, with that said, yeah, this segment can be annoying. We have to jump over each of these spike balls, and um, I prefer to go with Sonic here. Um, if you jump into the rainbow rings, you get an automatic jump over them. So, yeah, and at the very end, we can warp to the goal ring. So, yeah, that'll be it for this episode, because I, I do not want to commentate this time over... Mystic Mansion. I will do that in the next episode, along with Robot Storm. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!